Hello. And welcome to the Wasteland Podcast. <laughs> I'm your host, your favorite host, the best host maybe ever in the entire world history, uh, Shane. I'm joined here with Tyler. Uh, I'm the co-host. Shane may be the best host, but is he the best co-host? No. So just take that into consideration when you're judging Shane. Hey guys, how are you? Okay. How? I wanted to see what I <laughs> I wanted to see my audio <laughs> because this is the we did not set this up right. Wait, are we live? We're live. Yeah. This is live. Oh. We need to introduce Jeremiah. No one's met him before. Oh yeah, so we have a special guest this time. <laughs> um, new guest. He wasn't on last week because last week we didn't have a guest. So this week we have a guest. Uh, finally, we finally <laughs> got. <laughs> Someone everyone's really, really been asking for. <laughs> if you don't know him, I'm sure you'll get to know him quite well. He's a hoot. He's a riot. Everyone loves him. Jeremiah. Woo! <laughs> All right, Jeremiah. We'll have you on next week. Shit, really? <laughs> we like you so much. You, you know, I already like you. Come, <laughs> come back. Time really, really, really. really. <sighs> All right, well, this is off to a gross start. Sorry, oh, I just figured out I can draw in the notes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing <laughs> happened. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. What do you what, did you have a topic in mind, or did you just want to riff? What was your first topic? Uh, I don't want to do that one. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's talk about this. This is uh. It's kind of wacky. I, I've heard of a lot of people doing it. I've never done it. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's kind of one of those things that, like, everyone knows about. And, you know, a lot of people have tried it. They just don't like to admit it. Talking about peanut butter. <laughs> no! On the dick. No! <laughs> no! No! You've tried this? No! <laughs> this is animal abuse. I know, but... Absolutely not okay. Have you done it? I have not done it. Did Jeremiah. I tell you the story about? <laughs> did I tell you story about the girl no. who did it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay, <clears> I don't it, think you told it on the podcast. Is that what you're ta- asking me? A girl did this once. No, I, I just wait. I you think, think you think only guys are weird? Girls will put peanut butter on their vaginas <laughs> and have dogs lick it off. This girl told me. She said, "Let's both tell each other our darkest secrets." <laughs> God. And basically, after <laughs> she told me, I was, I really laid into her about it. Because it's honestly wrong. It's literally animal abuse. And <laughs> <laughs> we're all, there was a weird noise. Yeah, I don't know what that was. But anyway, um, there was like actual animal abuse. And she was just like, what? I thought you wouldn't judge me. <laughs> I thought we were sharing our darkest secrets. And I was like, no, your dark secret's fucked up. <laughs> well, I think I think we talked about that at work. Yeah. And so I just wanted to bring it up on the podcast because I thought it was funny. I actually saw this video of, uh, I don't know. I need something to like. Well, wait, have, does anyone have any funny stories involving peanut butter? It doesn't have to involve bestiality. <laughs> peanut butter. Because yeah. I, I really don't think that's okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't agree with Whitney Wisconsin. Do you ever and her, put whatever Whitney Wisconsin was on about? Do you ever put peanut butter on your dog's dick and then lick it off? <laughs> you like reverse the rolls? No, that's still animal abuse. <laughs> still not okay. It's probably not, worse too. Should not yeah. be. Don't I would, touch. Like, yeah, that's worse. <laughs> Wait, but I have my. I when I was like in first grade, a dog did hump me, and I didn't know what was going on, and I was just like, "Get this dog off of me!" <laughs> my family I used to laugh good. every time my dog would try and hump my leg. Yeah, yeah. it's so. I always get like grossed out. I'm like, wow, this dog kind of likes me. <laughs> hey, hey. Have you ever, like, <laughs> take me on a date first, God. Have you ever, like, not gotten the dog off in time and your pants <laughs> have, like, shit on them? Like, the dog oh. was already, like, he prepped himself. Oh. And then and then you're like he runs up to you and you're like what the fuck and you look down and there's already like come all over you like <laughs> no I'm not no. well my dog's neutered so I don't have that problem oh. <laughs> that's pretty gross yeah I would hate that I think I'd uh, kill myself yeah although I'd probably just lick it up dog 
dog erections are like <laughs> the grossest fucking. They're really gross, but they're red hilarious. <laughs> the red rocket is disgusting. Were I hate so... it. My, my... It's like slimy. It's like a. It's so gross. It's like a, it's like something from Alien <laughs> <laughs> comes it's out. So gross. My friend has a dog. Yeah, and mm, every time he like sits down, his dick comes out. Yeah, and he goes a boner. Whenever, so we usually, call him Red like... Rocket. <laughs> and whenever he sits next to someone and gets a boner, we're like, oh, "You're fucking gay." <laughs> we make fun of the... That's not <laughs> uh, okay. One time in like first grade, this kid was like, "Why?" He was like an, an older kid, aka a second grader, <laughs> and he was like, "Why are you friends with him? He's gay." I'm like, how do you know he's gay? And he's like, "He sleeps with his dog." And I and I was like, wait, you mean like they sleep in the same bed? Because that's not one's a dog. It's not that's not how that works. <laughs> yeah, you're not gay if you have a boy dog and you pet it. <laughs> but uh, I sleep with my boy dog. He likes to curl gay. up next. Gay. To- <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> he curls up next to me. He keeps my bed warm, and it's so nice. Dogs are pretty much awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the. No, they're all awesome. <laughs> yeah. When it, no, so dogs, they just get boners whenever like you come home and they're excited. They're just, they're just so happy and they can't help it. It just comes out. Right, like me. Like, just like real I life, get, yeah. yeah. When you see one of your buddies you haven't seen in a while, you're just like, oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> like, Dude, check it out. <laughs> it's like, like, look how excited <laughs> I am to see you. It's yeah. been so long. <laughs> it starts wagging in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a dog's tail. It's like, uh. It's like, shut up. It's normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. But yeah. No, I saw this one. <laughs> what? I just deleted all of my topics. Really? Yeah, on accident. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Can I get them back? Why'd you do that? You usually can't undelete notes. I don't know. How'd you oh, even do that? I don't know. Wow, Shane is pretty much worthless. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shane's pretty much the worst. I had some good shit, too. <laughs> we'll just say the first one, because we'll, we'll just okay. we'll just free ball but, after okay, that. So I saw a video of this, this couple, a girl and a guy in a car. And, and the, the guy, guy took out peanut butter and no, was like, no, no, babe, no, no, let's no, spice it's things worse, up it's tonight. Because that's okay. If you're a guy <laughs> and you put peanut butter on your balls and have your girlfriend look it off, that's fine. You can do that. Yeah. But he was like, no. He was telling his girlfriend about how he put peanut butter on his dick. No. And had his dog look it off. He's like, what? It's normal. Everyone does it. And she's like, no, it's not normal. And started flipping out. <laughs> I so would funny. too. That's I, did, like, I did this before in real life. That's like the people who like fuck vacuums. <laughs> That's but, better, but uh, well, what the fuck is wrong with it's you? It's not normal, though. Yeah, it's right. like not normal. I see where you got the idea. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like, yeah, you found a hole in the house. Good job. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get it. It sucks. Well, yeah, I know some. I know some kids that would uh, like get a knife and cut a hole in their mattress and just yeah. fuck that. I've and, like, heard it. Someone told me about that before too. Have you heard about like There's microwaving no a cantaloupe and yeah. then cutting yeah. a hole in it? Yeah. Well, like, in yeah, there's. Just use your hands, guys. Jeez. Or like, people like, it's like they want pocket pussies, but they don't know how to buy them yet or don't know they exist yet. <laughs> so then they just fuck fruit. Yeah. Man, there's like some ingenuity there. Like, you got to respect that at least. <laughs> Cutting up. <laughs> yeah. I like, just feel like it would hurt. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I don't know. They're not smart necessarily, but you gotta respect the like. I mean, I guess you gotta were, respect uh, the game. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, the dude's got game. Yeah, it's like it got melon God game. damn, dude! <laughs> you know, I, never in a million years would I thought uh, like would I look at a cantaloupe and be like, I bet I could fuck that. I bet. Yeah, you're saying I just need something warm and mushy. <laughs> <laughs> Put my dick in. I can be so horny that you have to fuck a fruit. <laughs> like, what the hell? Like the hand is not going to work anymore. <laughs> I need fruit. Just switch it up. Use your left hand. <laughs> Use your left hand. Or do that know. thing where you sleep on your arm and then you, you jerk <laughs> off with it. <laughs> or or there's the alternative. If you want to give a guy a hand job, you sleep on your dick until it goes tired, and then you jerk it off without feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, you want to feel what it's like? <laughs> so my hand job. I, saw, I saw that as a tweet before. <laughs> And I was like, what? Why would anyone do this? I love it. 
That's so funny. I've never done that, but the sleep on your arm thing. I haven't either. If, if every time I wake up with my arm asleep, I'm just like, I hate this. I, I yeah. would never, it hurts. I would never instinctively be like, oh, the perfect time. <laughs> I Yeah, I used to. I feel like I couldn't even get hard. Sleep in a, no, it, yeah, a, it's uncomfortable. a bunk bed. And one time I woke up with both my arms asleep. And you fell off. No, I threw myself off the top of the bed because my mom was like, I will leave without you. And I was like seven years old. Oh, you're like, no, was, my... Yeah, I was like, no. And I just threw myself off the bunk bed without being able to move my arms. <laughs> <laughs> you just fell on the ground. Yeah. It was like on your body. You just like fell. Yeah, no, it was like, it was rough. And then she was like, what was that? And I was like, I jumped off the bed. <laughs> And I can't get up. <laughs> I can't get up. <laughs> I can't get up. It is, it is really, I hate it. I really hope, like, I don't ever get, like, a disease where, like, <laughs> my arms just don't work. And I, when I wake up, I'm like, no, I can't move. <laughs> That's, like, terrifying to me is, like, being, uh, like, a quadriplegic. Oh, my God. Yeah. Where it's, like, you know, they show the people, it's, like, oh, yeah. oh wow, they can do, like, never... they can do a landscape painting with their tongue but it's like man that's the most depressing yeah, shit but, yeah <laughs> but they can't walk cool yeah for, cool for them but i still don't want to do that yeah like, right. i don't want to be like it's just like if you're blind it's like yeah that's awesome that they they're still living you know but fuck that i, know. <laughs> I don't want to do that but no i never talked about it on podcast i don't think when i sliced my thumb thumb open oh. on the meat slicer at work yeah i cut my thumb open I'm glad Jeremiah's here for this because he he witnessed it. Yeah, I did not. <laughs> I cut I cut my thumb open on the on a so it's like a it's a meat slicer, guys. So it's a big spinning sharp blade that you run meat through and it cuts it into small tiny pieces for you to consume. You guys so have been to delis. Imagine putting your fucking thumb through it. <laughs> uh, when it was jammed too, so whenever that one would get jammed, it yeah. would always spin oh. faster for a second. Now I'm getting like it's making my toes curl. Yeah, I'm getting flashbacks of when I did it. Sometimes when I'm cutting meat, I, I, my thumb just like hurts. So I'm like, no. Oh yeah, I get that. Because it just it just like remembers. Does it hurt? Did it hurt? Dude, it fucking hurt. That <laughs> when was it, when, it, when it first happened. I thought I just nicked myself a tiny bit. And then you're like, oh my god, my fucking thumb's gone. Well, I was I was like, I went like, I pulled it. I didn't even say anything. I was like, oh shit. And I was going to go like wash it. No, off. you you did because that's how I knew. Because I was actually up in the dish pit, and that was the loudest I've ever heard you like. Yeah. Well, like when say I say anything, and you were I, like, "Oh my god, it hurts!" And I was yeah. like, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, like, no. When I act, like once I looked at it, it that's when like it got to me really bad. Yeah, because <laughs> it was like a lot of blood, and I and I and it was like a huge chunk of my thumb was like barely hanging on or something. No, uh, yeah, I, like, I mean it was on the chunk yeah. of your thumb was on the meat yeah, slicer. Yeah. I think I was yeah, because it was just like a hole in my thumb. Yeah, and I was just like, it, it was. Can you see the scar? Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, it's it's kind of hard to see in this lighting, but it's just like there's like a circle-ish. Shape here that's like, it's just like Dude, fucked up looking skin. Lot. Dude, no, he, when, when it actually, it was a, it was like when it first happened, it, like it, a, it it seemed like it was like all the way down, like half my thumb was like cut off, and it was like so fucked up. I didn't want to look at it because I didn't know what it was. It was actually just like my like the it was still like this like the the meat and muscle inside your not the bone skin. Yeah, it wasn't like the bone or anything, and I was just it just I just cut a chunk of my skin off, so it wasn't that bad. Well, yeah. whenever that happens, it like pulls away from the wound too, because skin's yeah. like really tight over your body, yeah, so yeah. it always looks worse than it really is. Because it, it like the the chunk was like it looks scary, almost the size of a dime. It whenever was, it was sitting on the thing, but your thumb, yeah. it was like the size of a quarter missing. Yeah, like it, it, it's yeah. It, it was like scaring me. It was making it worse. So yeah. it was like panicking while it hurt. <laughs> and You're like oh shit it hurts ah, ah. yeah I, I was like oh what the fuck i was like this is way worse than i thought <laughs> and like also like uh my thumbnail was like like it was like a triangle because <laughs> a big piece of my thumbnail came off too so that's when i was just like and it hurt so bad that i couldn't like process what actually happened yeah you probably went out of shock yeah no well, i don't know but yeah no i'm telling you you did okay well then i sat <laughs> then i just like sat with like a rag over it with kim our boss in the back and i was like well this hurts uh and she's like just don't focus on it and i'm like all right well you didn't go to the hospital right away we sat around for a bit before we went to the hospital what Did, the fuck didn't Why? didn't she try and super glue it uh she we were going to yeah and i think she didn't realize how big the wound was <laughs> and so literally what happened was um trevor went back with us and i didn't i said i wasn't looking and they lifted up the rag and 
they they rinsed it off like because they were gonna rinse it off first because you can't like glue it with all this blood right and then trevor's like so you're gonna take him to the hospital right now because <laughs> 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 he was like you can't see these there's nothing i mean it was so it's such a big hole and it was only a tiny piece of skin covering that hole yeah so there was no way that we were gonna super and they did that at the fucking uh at the emergency room too the guy was like uh I'll just put like an adhesive over it and I'll stretch it back over. And I was like, guys, the hole was too big. So like it didn't work. And then I had to go back. And then that's when they uh, uh, carterized it. Um, then like, you couldn't stitch it because the hole is just too the, big. Yeah. The, the, the guy was like, yeah, there's really not much you can do. You just have to like keep, you'd have to clean it really well and, and put band-aids on it. He's like, or I can carterize it, which would be a lot faster. But that fucking hurt. <laughs> that was the how, worst pain I've ever felt in my life. I was the whole, I was screaming in the hospital. <laughs> how do they go through the process of cauterizing? How do they do it? Uh, I think I, I can't remember. They did used, you pass out? They the used thing? chemicals no. on you. If yeah. I remember, they, they, you, they, you, they, you told me they poured they put, like a acid like a, on it. Yeah, it was like a gel, but it was you know it just like burns so badly. So they didn't use like but a I, hot rod or something. I no, no, I mean, no, no, yeah, no, no, they're no. not cowboys. Like no, no. that'd be yeah, yeah that'd no, fuck just, it up worse. They just use like like a gel, and it was like for a few first few days, my thumb was just like black, but that was not like my thumb. That was like the cauterization stuff they put on, uh, and it took. The guy said it'd be quick and easy, and he later then said he took a lot longer than he thought. <laughs> but but he he said I did way like I handled it way better, and I think I maybe it was because I didn't pass out, and I just instead just went like ah ah. <laughs> <laughs> My mom was like crying because she saw me. I was like in intense pain, and she couldn't do anything about yeah. it. And I was just like, I was just like, God damn, stop! <laughs> I was like, no, no more, no more. And then they like. Well, we got to keep going now. <laughs> <laughs> and it just sucked because when they're like, I, I could cauterize it. And I was like, will that like be the best solution? What do you think? And he's like, yeah. And then he just did it. Like, he didn't, like I, I didn't have much time to like think about it. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way to fucking... do it. It's like whenever you're little and yeah. your mom rips off a Band-Aid where she's like, hey, I think uh, I could probably take this off. It's yeah. like, really? And then she's just like, <laughs> and you're like, yeah, yeah. fuck. Yeah. I mean, you don't yell that when you're a kid, but like. I was, he was super nonchalant. He didn't even care. Like he was, but he's probably used to people being in agony all the time. So he's like, he was like, no, he should be fine. Just he's like talking to my mom while I'm like, I'm like on the bed going, ah, ah, ah. like, like, like literally like, like a fetal position style. Like I'm like on like a hospital bed, like ah, what the fuck? <laughs> he was just trying to look cool for your mom. Yeah, he was just, he was like, yeah, so you know. uh just clean it out after a few days, and it should be fine. <laughs> and then the only thing is, it did get infected. I think it's because oh. I waited one day too long to clean it, because uh, I was really, did, I really don't want to fuck with it. Cleaning it hurts too. And then I went to the doctor, and then the, the doctor there was like, "Oh, that's really infected." And I was like, "Oh man." And then she's like, "Well, you're gonna have to do this and this to clean it out, and if you don't do it right, then you know you're gonna have to come back, and you might have to get like surgery, like plastic surgery." Because of like blood poisoning, something like that. I don't know. And and she said it could like infect, like start infect, uh, affecting yeah. my nerves and stuff. Uh-huh. Luckily, uh, I mean, all I did was just I used like the special like uh, soap stuff that's okay to use on your wound, and I just you know would wash it out like that, rinse it off, and then like wrap it up every day, and it and it I fixed the problem myself doing that. But. Yeah, and she was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> it looks literally so much better. I'm so happy." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, cool." Whenever, uh, whenever it's like really cold outside, yeah, can does it like lose feeling? No, 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 no. no. I will say, like, whenever, like, uh, like you know, when you get like, uh, like the eczema on your fingers with like the little skin peeling off, you know, like little white circles or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, whenever that happens, it will feel weird, like because whatever's affecting like the water and dryness affecting my hands is also affecting it. But cold weather doesn't really fuck with it too bad. Okay. Do you, you don't have a fingerprint anymore, do you? I I mean I still have all this thumb left. Yeah, but not up there. I don't. Who, I, do you really use like the tip of your thumb when you do your fingerprint? Yeah, when they fingerprint you, you have to well, use all of your thumb. Yeah. I just use my left thumb. It probably it's the same, right? No. No. Oh well, shit. <laughs> I don't know. I guess if I die, they'll be like, well, we identified his some of his fingers, but... <laughs> he stole Tyler's left hand. What the fuck? <laughs> like, this dude's a sicko. This, this, doesn't, add, this doesn't add up. Yeah. 
nine of the fingers match, but one's different. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's like partially missing. <laughs> yeah, no. Do full like uh, like uh, CSI Miami, where they like whip off the sunglasses yeah. and they're like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! What is this? <laughs> like, what kind of sick bastard was this?" <laughs> it's like, it's like, what what happened to him? And it's like, uh, well, they got just a tip, and he goes, "Yeah!" <laughs> starts playing the Who. Starts starts playing "Won't Get Fooled Again" by the Who. <laughs> I never really. Uh, heard that story because you were like traumatized <laughs> yeah i didn't really yeah i mean it was whenever i had the giant hole in my thumb it was fun to talk about but <laughs> pick up lots of girls like that uh, i mean look what i did all, stopping a rapper all that, <laughs> i mean so I, I had a girlfriend back then and all that happened was she was like come over and i was like okay but i have to bring all this shit with me and, and clean out in your bathroom <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and i mean it's gonna take a little bit i only did it once basically i just didn't i just didn't hang out there as much and then even when even after that like we cuddle in bed one time i may have was about to get laid but she like accidentally put her hand on top of my hand oh. and i went oh oh <laughs> and she's probably never heard me do that she like jumped back because <laughs> it's yeah, i don't normally scream out in pain ever yeah. and yeah so uh, thing it, it kind of just sucked until <laughs> after our, my thumb was better. Yeah. Then we could go back to did, being normal. Did they give you drugs? No. Oh. <laughs> I got no. I I got nothing out of this. It, it was a horrible experience. I think. I and I, but the reason why I brought up the story because I think we've been talking about it for a good uh, like fifteen minutes now. Yeah. Is if you lost your hand, you know how much you know when this happened. So what happened was I went to San Francisco. And Red Dead Redemption 2 came out. And I was like, okay, when I come back from San Francisco, I get to play Red Dead Redemption 2. Literally the next day, <laughs> you cut off I cut off. a piece of my thumb off. So you couldn't play. Luckily, Red Dead Redemption 2 is mostly cutscenes in the first beginning of the game. <laughs> but I once I got on the horse, I was playing like I was like moving my entire hand over the controller. Because you have to sprint <laughs> by tapping X over and over and over. <laughs> if you've ever played Red Dead or GTA, you have to yeah. always tap like X or A. And... So I just couldn't play Red Dead Redemption 2. And I was like, I was so upset. I was just like, I can never afford to lose my hands ever. Like, yeah. <laughs> like I need my hands. Like, and now I'm like super protective. And and after that, I, used, I was always like, Joey, just wear a glove. Joey, just put the glove on, Joey. Please, just put the glove on, Joey. You always cut yourself. Put the fucking glove on. <laughs> Joey's the last person you should be not yeah. wearing a glove but a they've lot of people... never trained him on the meat slicer they haven't trained anyone else on the meat slicer yeah, since no, that happened i got i got uh leland on there oh you do caroline like refuses to do it yeah caroline was like <laughs> almost as traumatized as you were yeah well she that. wasn't even there no yeah but uh, she did that years ago oh yeah she totally on the same that. one yeah and then and then you did it and she was like i'm not touching that thing i'll do it whenever i turn 18 it's really it's, not that bad the, just the new one's always wear bad. the glove the old one, the only reason it was bad was because, like, it would jam up when you're yeah. trying to slide the meat across it. Yeah, especially, so like, why, salami or cheese. Yeah, I put my hand on the meat and push it through that way. And literally, first of all, I've almost never, I don't think I've ever put my thumb on the blade with the metal glove on. Yeah. So it was the fact that, like, and I wear the glove when I do it, but some, I just, like, sometimes I'll just leave it off on accident. And I just left it off on accident. And I think what and I it was to cut my thumb on it th too. That day, is you sliced everything like normal, and the next day was Halloween, and yeah. like me or Trevor, someone was like, "Oh hey, you want to do like a bunch of salami?" And you were like, "Yeah, okay." And yeah, then you, no, you it started is... like you'd already started breaking it down. That's and true then... too. I I did a. I remember that day. I did a lot of fucking meat slicing. Yeah, and, and... I think I was just getting really like lazy about it. And like, cause like my brain was eventually just wasn't really that concerned anymore after a while. And so I accidentally didn't wear the glove. And the first time I, th I'm pretty sure I've never even touched the blade with the glove while it was on before. So it was like the first time I, I accidentally touched the blade. I happened to also not be wearing the glove. And I mean, I remember I, I right when I put it in, I remember going like, oof, cause like, you know, you, you feel it. it. Yeah. And you know, and, and, and and I've I've cut myself on you know blades before, but you know it's not like that. That one was that one was tough. Yeah, I just I just cut my finger on a can the other. Yeah, day. cans you fucking there, hurt. That, right? 
It does. Yeah. It does hurt. I'm not gonna even give you shit for that. <laughs> no, I cutting was... getting cuts on your fingers, especially like your fingertips, it's well, fucking awful. I got it like right there in like the crotch. The crotch of your finger. Yeah. Shane's talking about like the very bottom part of your finger, like, where it's connected to your hand, like, basically. Do yeah. Do the eat pussy kind of symbol? <laughs> yeah. When you down in there. when you do a peace sign. Oh yeah. But then you're too. like, but then you're like, nah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> pussy tonight. <laughs> um. Yeah. I was just like, I was making patties that. I stick my finger in the can <laughs> to get all yeah. this shit out, and I go, and I'm like, gotta be ah! yeah, huh? <laughs> You gotta be careful. You gotta be very careful doing I this I forget shit. that cans are fucking sharp as fuck. Yes, yes. They're, uh, they're metal that you've ripped the top off of, so it's just nothing but sharpness all around. Yeah. I think the worst injury <laughs> that I've had... <laughs> gotta record the burps, man. All right. That's what they're here for. <laughs> the worst injury I had that I remember... Was uh, I used to do CrossFit because I played football. Yes. And so we do uh, box jumps. So they had these big old wooden uh, boxes. And one time I missed the box jump and landed on my shin mm. right in the corner, like all my weight. And uh, so Thanks. my I can't like really visualize it, but like there was an indent in my shin. Yeah. So like it's going straight and then it was just like, like that. Yes. Like you could run your finger and it would go uh, that's <laughs> like fucking that, weird. and uh, it swelled up so big. And actually, you can kind of feel it still. It was about f- four or five years ago. Yeah, and can you you can kind of still feel it, but it was my, just my it hurt brother, so bad. My other brother injured himself training for high school football too, and it was like he had to walk on crutches after. I think it was something similar to that. He just got hurt doing the training. It wasn't. It wasn't like so bad that i had to use crutches it just yeah, yeah. hurt like just a hurt. bitch yeah. i didn't you break walk, it right? yeah i could walk okay i mean you just probably just not that on. day i was just like oh fuck that hurts yeah you know? <laughs> but um it swelled up. oh my god it was bad i also have if you notice like i have a scar right here on my eyebrow yeah i've never seen it now till now you've okay um it's I kind of small I, now you kind of have to be really close to see yeah <laughs> yeah anyway i have a scar on my left eyebrow And I don't remember this one, but when I was, like, five or six, I was out at a playground. And, you know, like, the, uh, uh, like, the spider web kind of, like, dome-shaped things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, the metal. They have holes. Yeah, and you climb climb on it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I fell through the top of the hole. Yeah. (laughs) I fell through the top of the hole, and a bolt nicked my forehead and just cut it right open. Uh, I could have lost my eye, but I didn't. And so there's like just Man, blood coming did. down my face. Yeah, so Only did I. Because... That would have been so cool. <laughs> you would just have an eye patch for the rest of your life. Or a glass eye. I've always wanted a glass, a glass eye. Because yeah. then I could just go and then you like, just have pop like it this... out and pop it in my Whenever mouth. like something really horribly bad happens to you, then you're like, yo, but I have a story. I have this insane story about it. Yeah. Then everyone doesn't want to ask it first. And yeah. then it becomes like legendary. And they're like, can you tell me the legend of your glass <laughs> eye? <laughs> Especially Dude, if, if you, you like pop it out and put it in yeah. your mouth. No, like... oh, stop. No, you wouldn't. You would not do that. If you could like smack you yourself on the back of your head and catch it. Yeah. <laughs> imagine <laughs> imagine you're walking through school and someone like <laughs> yeah. someone like bumps into you and you're like doing it on purpose and you're like, ah, my eye <laughs> and you like freak out. Like That's one everyone, or everyone just say like, three, ter- everyone say two facts and a lie in the class and you like you know, you're like you, you say two two things, you know. But one of them is like, I have a glass side. And everyone's like, that's the fucking lie. And you're like, oh, yeah. And you just like, pop it out. <laughs> and then you just like, ta-da. And your eyes like rolling on the ground. <laughs> and you're like, see? Yes. It'd be really funny, too, to like, like be like, hey, uh, if you give me $100, I'll rip my eye out of its socket. And people are like, what? What the fuck? No, you won't. And they and then, you know, they like pull it up. And then you just like put your fingers in there. And you're like, ah! You just like rip it out, and you're like, ah! <laughs> they just see like the big empty like yeah. black socket. That'd be awesome. You wear a long sleeve shirt, sneak ketchup packets in your sleeve, so that way you can like squirt ketchup everywhere. peeled like <laughs> like pe- peeled grapes. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> Are you um, walking to school? Oh, I forgot my glass side. And you're just like chilling you're in the back. This all day. <laughs> you're chilling <laughs> in the back, and like everyone's scared to look at you because you have a gaping hole in your eye. You just you just do that thing where you you like close one eye all day. And but that'd be so annoying. <laughs> you're just like, uh, are you able to control your eyelids if you don't have an actually, eyeball in? That's a good. Oh, you know what? They might sew it shut or something. Oh no, because 
then you, you if you have a glass eye, it's open. And also, it would get oh uh, yeah, you're right. It would get I all think they sew it sh- yeah, it would get yeah. all swampy in there. You're right, yeah. you're right. So they wouldn't you do have that. To clean it. Yeah. So that's what they do to cats, but maybe they don't do it to humans. Wait, what but do you mean? What do you do to cats? You like they like sew their eyelids shut. Oh. But um, what was I, saying? <laughs> I don't know. No, yeah, I don't know. You just have. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you I don't just... know. I just pictured like someone so <laughs> being the first one to be like, "Man, what if we just sew his eyelid shut?" <laughs> like, <laughs> not, well, it's not supposed to have an eye anymore. <laughs> no, I know, but I, I mean, like, but like, imagine being the guy to just like present that idea. Like, let's just sew his eyelid shut. <laughs> it's like, what the sh- fuck's wrong with you? You should sew your mouth shut next time. Oh, okay. Like the the best Deadpool movie. Like the, yeah, Deadpool. <laughs> um. Hey, people, say what you want, but that movie, Wolverine Origins, introduced a lot of people to Deadpool for the first time. So It was honestly a pretty good movie. I disagree the, like, with that. The first act. <laughs> the first <laughs> act uh, was all right. I don't want to. That was the first time I watched a movie as a kid in the theater and was like, wow, this is really bad. <laughs> like, I, I did not care if we finished it or not. I just hated it every second about it. But they, kind of, they fucked up Sabretooth really badly. Yeah. I knew Deadpool was supposed to be different, but I didn't know everything about Deadpool when I watched that movie. I just knew that what they did was wrong. Because <laughs> I, I, he was in uh, X-Men Legends 2, and he was in Marvel Ultimate Alliance. And I was like, hey, Deadpool wears like a costume like Spider-Man, and he has swords, and he can teleport. So they got the teleport right, but they got everything else wrong. Wait, he can yeah. teleport? Yeah. Deadpool? Yeah, he can teleport. Yeah. He says it's overpowered. It, that's been a power that's been established since like he did it in the in the Wolverine movie too. But the Wolverine movie they gave him the Cyclops lasers. Yeah, yeah, I knew. Oh, well, I knew they did that in the Wolverine movie, but, but I thought that was just some yeah, of no, the shit the, they added. No, Deadpool has a few mut- mutant powers. He has more than just. Uh, no, I healing. thought the teleporting was like from a machine that he carried around. Oh, re- oh, really? And he got that's rid what of they it did in Deadpool too. too. What? That's what they did in Deadpool too. Like he yeah. teleported through uh, well, like, that was, time and time shit. Travel, yeah. yeah, I think mm. that was introducing that. But eventually he got rid of it because he was like, this is too overpowered. Oh. And Wolverine Origins is because Nightcrawler's dad was there and gave it to him through mutant powers. Gay. <clears throat> gay. <clears throat> gay. That's fucking gay. Okay. Now that we established that that's gay. <laughs> uh, speaking of blind people, there's a, a kid in band mm-hmm. who's blind. Named Blind Joe. Blind Joe. Yeah, let's call him that. Okay. Blind Joe. Uh, which is... Ironic, because you have to read. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have to read music, but he can't see. So uh, do they have has... it in Braille? Yeah, but oh. also uh, he has perfect pitch. So if someone just like plays for him, he'll just he, do it. He knows it. That's awesome. But uh, yeah, he's a he's fucking... like Daredevil. He's got it heightened hearing. He's a fucking asshole. Why? He's just so pretentious and just like, so oh, douchey. Nice shirt, Shane. You're like, you can't even fucking see it. It's like, yeah, well, I know you're gay. No, but so so he also... It's like, oh, yeah, well, your dick's hanging out. And then he, like, <laughs> and then he grabs his dick. He's like, no, it's not. It's like, made you grab your dick. And you're like... <laughs> <laughs> but are you gay? Oh, or you grabbed look, your look dick. what's behind you. I can't. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has, like, some kind of autism or something. But oh. he's just so... He's such an ass. And he's so mean to everyone. Do you ever, like trip him like put your leg out in front of him no walking. but i thought about it <laughs> i've thought about doing like so much f- i i've taken shit from him without him knowing oh, like yeah. i just really quietly <laughs> like take shit Shane and... steals from a blind man <laughs> <laughs> but he's such an ass but um so he uh his one of his eyes he like takes his thumb and it sticks it in his Ooh. eye like super deep, like past the knuckle. Okay. And you can just look over him, and he, you know he's just chilling with his eye and his fucking <laughs> his thumb in his fucking eye. And you're like, dude, oh, it's so gross. Why does he do that? Just to fuck with people? No, it's like some kind of like uh, oh, like oh, coping he, thing. Okay, yeah. So he just can't help it. Basically. So it's like sucking on his thumb basically, but kind of, just yeah. jamming. I think it. it's just like one of his ticks. I mean, to be fair, if you couldn't see. You'd be like, oh, I gotta make sure my eyes aren't there anymore. <laughs> but like, <laughs> it's so weird. Well, some blind people still have their eyeballs though, right? Oh, well, yeah, he, he, yeah, has, he has eyeballs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he just sticks he just his thumb sticks in the hole. Oh in. my gosh. And pushes it in Ooh. so far, and I'm like, no wonder you can't fucking see. <laughs> uh, so he's just like playing with his eyeballs. Doesn't he feel it? That's what I think. But he's he got to feel sits it. There. Oh, he doesn't even so move. He just sticks well, no, his thumb in his eye and sits there like this. The nerves to his eyes would be dead. Oh, I guess so. Because that's what uh, 
like blind people don't see black they just don't see yeah they don't have the concept of yeah, black yeah. that we have yeah black. so they yeah whenever it's like depicted that way it's just so that we have like an idea of what they see but yeah yeah in it's reality just they just nothing yeah but what does nothing they, look like? they see what happens nothing doesn't die. look like anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's yeah, it's, it's weird to think about the concept of because like i just close my eyes now it's like you know or like what do deaf people hear no, nothing here yeah well, that, 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 what would that be? no but that i actually am fine with because that i can imagine what hearing nothing is like uh yeah i guess but seeing nothing is where it's like that's really hard to comprehend you can just close your eyes i have tinnitus so i Shut. don't actually hear close nothing. your eyes you see black but that's probably what they see they just don't Stop. know it's black <sighs> i don't think that's what jeremiah meant i think it's <laughs> i think it's incomprehensible <laughs> debate over we need you we need that blind guy Mike on Bloomberg. <laughs> we need to have that blind guy on and be like, describe to us to us what you see. And he's like, I don't know how to describe anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would never, I would never talk to him without like being forced to. Yeah, because I hate him, and he always like he always like talks about random shit. How easy would it be to kidnap a blind person? Probably very easy. Just well, yeah. he like he's very trusting, so you just be like, come on, blind Joe, we're going to the bathroom. And you know, next but then you put him in the girls' bathroom, yeah. <laughs> and then you kill him, and then every <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you kill him. <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> you hang him and leave a suicide note. <laughs> you know what's? Oh Dude, wow, blind Joe, you're, always... you're a girl now. Also, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking idiot! What a dumbass. Walk to the girls' bathroom and then I killed you. <laughs> Dude, I always, <laughs> I always, <laughs> fucking stupid dumbass. I always love saying that. Like whenever someone's like, "Oh yeah, we do that," and then I'm like, "And then we kill." Him, and then everyone's like what the fuck is that? i just think it's so funny it is to funny. take that to the extreme yeah they're just fucking kill him. They're like, i've done oh. that before too but they're like oh like if we're trying to prank someone yeah. like oh yeah we should like totally do this and i'm like then we should fucking yeah, kill, him. Just kill him yeah <laughs> oh i don't know i think it's funny other people don't think it's so funny and sometimes i don't know if i'm joking or not <laughs> yeah great they are like, oh, Shane's kind of an incel. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll do it. <coughs> Did you guys know that uh, we have taste buds on our testicles? Yeah. Hmm. And our assholes. How does that work? If you like, apparently, if you dip your nutsack in like soy sauce, you can taste it. Hmm. We should do that. We I feel really like should. My nuts are always brushing up against something, and uh, but they can only taste like salt and uh, mm. like sweet flavors. So why wouldn't do, you be able to? Because when you taste something in your mouth, you know you can like feel it in your mouth. So like, would you feel it on your balls? Yeah, I don't know. That's I've never what tried it. that's what I've heard. Mm. I haven't tried it. I thought of like you can taste uh, about sweet about stuff too. Can you taste peanut butter on your balls? I'll bet you can because it's salty. Mm. Well. I know that. That's why they like, do it. And then the dog just accidentally started licking it. <laughs> the first guy who figured out that trick was just trying to taste peanut butter. Yeah, he's what? like, Mom, guess what? My nutsack can taste peanut butter. And it's like, what the fuck? And then the dog <laughs> ran in the room. He's like, hold on, I have another idea. Well, he's I know. Like, he's like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait. I've just discovered something else. <laughs> <laughs> something way better. <laughs> I've heard that like doing it with soy sauce is the best way because it's so strong. Yeah, your dogs love soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I fucking meant. Okay. Yeah, soy sauce is very high in sodium, so that would, I guess, make sense. If but we're talking about salt. I've meat. never done it. I've seen people, like, yeah. do it. If I want to taste something salty, I would just beat Shane at a game, and he would be upset. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You would never beat me. You'd be. <laughs> so why can't you t- taste, like, your ball sweat then because your ball sweat's got to yeah, be that's salty what, that's, that's what i was saying that's what i was thinking Sorry. stop grabbing your nice. looking at you <laughs> <laughs> trying, don't to, look at me, don't <laughs> trying to, to try to taste your fingertips right dude now. it itches <laughs> yeah well you've been hanging around the wrong crew <laughs> you've been getting it with the wrong My dog's been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah your dog keeps eating out of the trash <laughs> uh one time some it's like whenever like a dog licks your face my stepsister was like oh his mouth is probably cleaner than you know anything else and, and it's like my dog's breath smells like it's, yeah it's like no it's not <laughs> he literally licks himself his dog is this dog's breath is there's no way a dog's mouth is cleaner than a human mouth or anything so it has but, like 
Human mouths are actually just super gross. Is why they that's are. technically true. They like, are full they, of yeah, one of the full worst of bacteria, basically. things Actually, that can happen Tyler's to you. His mouth is just full of shit. <laughs> that's all he talks. Oh, wow. One of the one of the worst like injuries you can get is to like have a human draw blood by biting you, because it's because basically it it's basically one hundred percent gonna get infected, yeah. and they're gonna have to like yeah inject shit in there. Well, if you think about it, dogs whenever they get an injury, they always lick themselves in that. Like if they get a cut, yeah, on their arm or something, they're always licking it, yeah, to clean it, yeah. I don't. Is it dogs or the cats who have some sort, like a slight healing property with licking? It's both. It's is it both? I think so. Definitely dogs though. Oh yeah. okay. Well, I've heard cats, so it probably is both. If you've heard dogs. Well, cats have the little uh, what, the hooks on their tongues. Yeah. To groom themselves. That's On, really cool. Mm, that's also is. that would probably help to like get any shit out of there out yeah. of a wound like if you've ever have you ever mm. been like licked by a cat yeah it feels like sandpaper yeah it's because they groom themselves I, i'm more fine with a cat licking than a dog dogs are like big wet sloppy i know but it's so cute no it's not i hate it i only no i hate it <laughs> <laughs> i don't like I them make out with my dog yeah i don't like them licking <laughs> my face but like only the inside of my I, mouth I'll, let, I'll, let a dog, <laughs> I'll let a dog lick my hand if if i'm like trying to show that i'm friendly yeah but if my actual dogs at home i like i don't i'd never like just it. kissing you man they're showing some love i'm not gay first of all <laughs> second of all i you know the reason uh, that dogs lick you is because Petting them feels so good to them that they want to do the same thing to you, so they yeah. like you. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that actually. <laughs> I thought there was some other weird reason. No, they just want to like reciprocate. Like it's. I thought it was some other weird like bonding. Thing, yeah, I think but... it's a pack bonding thing too. Yeah. Like it's like, hey, like. You're cool. So like here, here's my mouth, which I usually use to fuck things up with, but instead yeah. I'm letting you know. Yeah. I'm not gonna fuck you up, like. Just like you know how some dogs will uh, come up and like, not yeah. bite your wrist, but just put their their mouth on it. That's like a respect thing. That's like so, yeah, I'm basically bowing down to you because they do that to other dogs too. My dog, uh, so my mom's dog, he was abused when he was like a puppy. So he and he's really small. He's a small dog, so he just clings to my mom basically. Yeah, uh, he's really mean to everyone. He used to be kind of nice to my stepdad. But even sometimes, if my stepdad gets like in the way of between him and my mom, he'll like growl and try to bite him. And he he bites like he bites people who come over. Uh, like I I always told my mom like yeah you know you need to like lock him up because like if he bites someone then he can probably get put down. So yeah, you need to like not let him do that. And she like wouldn't listen to me at first. And then I think she like it, the dog did bite someone. And luckily, the person was just like, oh, I don't care. But, it, but it, I mean, he draws blood from people. It hurts them. Damn. But he uh, he hates me with a burning passion. I don't know why. He, I hate you, too. He fucking hates me, man. <laughs> and how, like, how old were you when your mom got him? How old was I or him? Yeah. How old were you? Uh, I was either like 17 or 16 at the oh, time. Oh, okay. Well, that's way older than I thought. Like, lots of like high-strung dogs hate kids. But you weren't really a kid. He, he definitely hates kids, but he likes my little brother more than me. So like that should like give you a yeah. idea of like I don't think I don't think it was because we were kids or anything. Yeah. But he uh, I don't know why he I don't know why he hated me right off the bat. But me see me and my dog because I had a dog first that was the same breed. They're both rat terriers. I'm rat terrier. Yeah, rat terriers are fucking dope. I love my dog, but um. See, I had my dog, and then my mom got the same breed, and I, I don't know, maybe he just saw me hanging out with that one too much or something. I don't know why he hates me, but um, whenever my whenever like he's with my mom, then he'll lick my hand. But otherwise, he just like runs away and barks at me if my mom's not around. Because sometimes I'll go to her house and like let him out if she's not home, and he'll just like run for me, and I have to like pick him up and take him outside, or else he just won't go outside. But he will lick my hand if my mom is there. And I mean, like, he's sitting on my mom's lap. If my mom is walking around, he'll just run around behind her and just keep always being behind her legs so he, I can't look at him. That's, he's, he's just a piece of shit. But. Yeah, that's kind of weird. But it was because he was abused, that's why. Oh, yeah. Because you abuse him? I did not abuse him. <laughs> Dipping his nuts in he, soy he, sauce he's, and stuff. He's missing teeth, though. Like, for real. He's missing teeth from when he was a puppy. Someone punched the shit out of him or something. Yeah. I don't know what they Maybe did. Maybe they had long hair. 
Maybe. I had long hair back then. Yeah. But when, I don't know what... My mom has long hair. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Ah. So, I don't know. Unless he can actually, like, differentiate that much. Like, a man with long hair. They can. They can smell it. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Because, I, I don't know. Maybe. My dog... Though he bit my mom's sister, who looks kind of like her. Huh. That's why it's really fucking weird. But My dog hates people who wear uh, baseball caps, because... One time when my mom was walking him, uh, this old guy with a baseball cap kicked my dog. Wow. Like, just cuz. Like, That's he just went over and, like, kicked my dog. That's fucking weirdo. I know. And he was wearing a baseball cap, so now my dog just fucking hates people. I, people who are, do that, I don't... Okay, there's a girl we work with. Like, okay, I, I don't think... Jeremiah about her. Wait, hold on. I don't <laughs> think... I want to get this right. Okay. I think my dog, like, went up and was, like, trying to, like, get some pets from this guy, and he just kicked Oh, him. your dog was, like, bothering him? But not, like... No, yeah, like... no. A, a kick was not the appropriate response. <laughs> yeah. But there's this... Okay. There's, like, a video of this girl. She's, like, a grown woman. She's fucking huge and obese. <laughs> and she walks by a, a dad, a mom, and a little, little tiny boy. And she comes up to the little boy and takes out a knife and stabs him like three times in a row. And the dad is just like mortified. He doesn't know what's actually going on because the idea of someone just walking up and stabbing your kid for no reason makes no sense. And after like a third stab, he's finally like, get off, get off. And like pushes her. And she's like, she like does this. She holds her hand up with the knife like, I'll cut you, I'll cut you. And she like walks away and just like starts taking off running. And it's like, why did she do that? <laughs> what was the purpose of doing that? And like some people are just really, there's like a weird side to them. And you don't, it's like, I don't know how you would be able to tell. And that's my mission in life is to like see people who act somewhat strange and be like, you're fucking, you would randomly kick a dog or you would randomly fucking stab a kid. Did the kid die? I don't know. Cause it's just, I just saw the video of the kid being stabbed. He was screaming his head off. <laughs> he, yeah. had, he had stabbed like three times. Oh my God. How, kidding, how old was it, he? It was pot, it, he looked fucking tiny, dude. He looked like a toddler or something. Why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> I don't know. People like that deserve to be she was, down. She was, she's just like a really weird human whose brain doesn't work right. Kids are pretty resilient, though. No, like, I, I don't think... Not he, when they get stabbed three times. I don't think he died stabbed or anything. Stabbed three times isn't a lot. I don't think he died or anything, but... How big was the knife? I don't I don't think it was a giant combat knife. I think it was just like a pocket knife or something. The, so but the, the video was going viral for a while. I had to, I had to see it a couple of times. And I was like, I don't want to watch the kid get stabbed again. Yeah, I don't... But I don't it, like, it, it was going, well it was going viral because someone was like... Literally, I shit you not, the first thing I saw when I saw that video was someone saying, like, like it was, like, they posted it, and they wrote, like, their comment on that post. They posted the video. And, like, this is what men today are like. They're a bunch of fucking liberals who are too afraid to hit women. They're too afraid to protect their families from predators because they're weak. And it's like, why is this political? <laughs> What no, if <laughs> someone just ran up and stabbed my kid, I'd be like, wait, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, that dude, you, dude the, da- the dad in the video clearly has is just like trying to process what's going on. Because the idea of someone running up and like hurting your kid is... Especially like that. That's weird. Dude, no, I would if that happened to me, I think I would I, kill that guy. I'll try to find the video. Wait, it was a woman, right? Yeah. Well, I'll try uh, to find yeah. the video, but I, I don't think I can put it in the podcast. Because I don't think I can show a kid being stabbed, but... Uh, I'll try to find it, and I'll try to put in information if he's dead or not. Uh, if I can find it, I might not be able to find it. I saw this on Twitter, you know. This wasn't like a viral thing on yeah. YouTube, so we'll see. I don't know. Well, but anyway, yeah, no, it's yeah. okay. If but that, if that ever happened to my kid, and I caught the guy who stabbed my kid, he'd be dead. He or she would be dead. I would beat them to death. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I really have no idea what. <laughs> That's just fucked up. I think if, if, if so they if they stayed within range of me, then I would like knock them out at least. But I don't know, eventually, she ran away, and he's just like, "All right, I gotta get well, my kid to the hospital." O- obese, right? That's true. <laughs> I would just chase her down and fucking yeah. kill her. I you know how easy it is to well, knock over wife. obese people? Yeah, yeah. I'd just be like, I'd put, I'd be like, my my wife or whatever. I'd be like, dude, just take the kid. I'm gonna go kill this bitch. Yeah, yeah. And I just run after her and fucking kill yeah. her. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know how you can explain that to yeah. someone. Especially if I caught like my child being molested or raped, I'd kill the person <laughs> who did it. I don't think I could ever like. Yeah. Not. Yeah. Well, you know, like how many kids are subjected to something weird and sexual when they're little. It's like one out of 
They don't three they, girls and one out of four boys they, or something. Right? They don't tell anyone. They're just like, oh, I saw a penis today. Some man flashes penis to me. Yeah. And what do you do about it? Nothing. They just talk about it when they're like. 18 for the first time like oh you know what i think someone <laughs> i think someone molested me but i'm uh stamper from sleepy cabin he oh, fuck he's been in a few games here and there but he's like a voice actor guy on off uh, new grounds who's on youtube and stuff now too um he told a story on sleepy cabin about uh ever everyone was like all right let's go around and say our gayest experiences and he went first <laughs> And he was like, when I was little, this guy was like, pull out your penis, I'll suck on it. And 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 I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy did it. The guy sucked on his penis. And then he's like, all right, now you do it for me. And he was like, no, you're going to pee in my mouth. And he ran away. Because <laughs> he was like, you know, a little kid. And... And then everyone, and then the guy who asked the question, like everyone talked about our gay experiences. He he was like, uh yeah. So I just one day realized I just like butts on men too. He's like, that's your whole story. He's like, yeah yeah. I just saw a butt that looked good on a guy, and I was like, yeah. I guess guys can be have nice butts. He's like, that's why you brought all this stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like, I he's like, I told like this horrible story <laughs> about a dude sucking my dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of that's but funny. but but that's the thing. It's like. Weird shit happens to kids, and they might not tell you. Yeah, but it, I mean, if you catch it, you know, then yeah. But they'd be dead. A, a lot of times, kids will just be like, "Whoa, what the fuck?" <laughs> I don't think they like really understand. Yeah, they don't yeah. understand what's going on. That'd be a weird thing to walk into. Is your like six year old kid getting a blowjob? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, that's... like that would actually give like you know if if I came in, and someone was just like full on molesting my kid, same as you. Like, it's like. I'll kill him. There's, but like, if someone's just like blowing my, it would make me stop for a second and be like, be "What? Like, what? Yeah, I'd be like, what the what, fuck? What am I missing here? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I, How did this situation occur? Yeah, I either hired the right person or the wrong one. <laughs> that, that, what, like a babysitter? You saying? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. There, there is. Uh, that's like a thing. Like, <clears throat> and like babysitters will just like molest and rape their like little boys. Oh, and that's why like people are so sketched out by hiring like yeah well they like, want you they basically want can't even be a kindergarten teacher if you're male well like, yeah but but what it, it's like uh little boys like in the black community i was it was a thing where they would be like yeah i had sex at 14 with my babysitter i thought it was like normal and like a lot of people would talk about it and th- there's a guy named low tier god who ever makes fun of his fighting game videos because he's really fucking bad and he rages and it's really funny <laughs> But one day he ran and was like, yeah, my babysitter would just be like, can I see your penis again? I'd love to see your penis. And so he'd just show her his his dick all the time when he was a kid. And he was like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> and it's it's just like, yeah, so there's people who are weird like that out there. Man. That's, that's the thing. That's why like, I want to like observe people and be like, there's one little thing off about you. You don't act like a normal person. Yeah. Or- what is it? What is that thing? And why? Can I figure it out? Can I make a, 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 a psychology breakthrough here and figure out why people act on their intrusive thoughts? Yeah. Man, and that's I like... a lot of people have been trying to figure that out, Tyler. I want to figure it out. Because there's some people <laughs> that I know who are really fucking weird. And it's like, okay, do you guys ever see when girls post, like, gore on Facebook? They go, wow, it's so fucked up. It's like, why did you post gore on Facebook? <laughs> like, people need to see this. And it's like an animal being tortured or like a little kid being punched by an adult. And I'm like, no one needs... We are literally informed of this already. Everyone fucking knows this shit happens. I don't need to fucking see it. I'm a timeline. Right. And it's like, what would it be like to date one of those girls that posts that stuff? <laughs> are they are they going to chop your dick off in the night when you piss them off? Like, what's... Oh. Like, because that ha- that's happened before too. So... I don't know. That's the thing. Those you can girls... still sew it back on, though. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to be in the situation in the first place. Man, that's a story, though. It's like, <laughs> hey, it's like, does anyone have any cool scars? And everyone's like, oh, you know, I got this falling <laughs> off, you know. I got uh, this I, in football practice. Yeah, I got this in. It's I'm like, Shane. Do, and, do, do. and everyone's like, it's like, oh, how about you? And you're like, yeah, just a second. And you like <laughs> unzip your, your pants, whip your dick out. You're like, see that? Yeah, I didn't used to have that for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> then have that till my crazy ex-wife Barbara 
That dumb bitch. That Fart. dumb bitch cut my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Threw it out the window. So, uh, Tyler, uh, I want to know something. Uh, when do you want to get your ass handed to you in basketball? <laughs> Shane, we, first of all, first of all, I have NBA Jam right there. And that's, <laughs> oh, that's not. <laughs> that's how this started. No, <laughs> because you were talking trash on the Chicago Bulls, and I will not have it. The Chicago Bull crap because they suck <laughs> no. ass. Chicago Bulls because they're hung like bulls. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the Y right now. <laughs> settle this. I'm going to kick your ass in basketball. First of all. Shane, you don't even want to do this because you would just be. It would. You know how many layups I made in sixth grade basketball? <laughs> <laughs> I made so many layups. My so friend. many. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, I forgot what position I played. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you weren't very good. I think it was point guard or score guard or something. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, uh, Mainly, pop- they gave me the ball. I would dribble it down, look who's open, and pass it, and then get into position and to be open so I could shoot, which didn't happen that often. Because <laughs> you're bad. No, but I would, I would get, I would, I would get open, but then they would be like, "Not pass it to me," and I'd be like, "All right, okay." I thought you guys were well, my friends, but you know, okay, I guess we're not friends. But that's cool. Well, guys, uh, pop out to the Y sometime. We'll to let watch you Shane know. get slam dumped on. <laughs> We'll let you know. We'll, we'll I'm gonna whip out my Michael Jordan. <laughs> I'm gonna wear number twenty three. <laughs> you can wear uh, number eight, which is the number Kobe had to retire after he raped someone. <laughs> R.I.P. Rapist Kobe Bryant. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That we don't know that if that actually happened or not. Yeah. But I mean, he is rich and probably paid her off. Also, I actually do like Kobe Bryant, so I don't even want to like joke about this too much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just come on, pop out to the Y if you want to see Tyler lose. I'll tweet the time and date. <laughs> you're not gonna, no, you can't. You're not gonna beat me at basketball. I'm sorry. Uh, Wait, we one won't v know. one v one. Yeah, uh, and we're like half court rules, not horse. We're just gonna like. Yeah. Bro, 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 you're done for. <laughs> bro, the second I get the ball, I'm gonna lay up, lay up it in. I'm gonna charge you. <laughs> you can't, you can't break the rules. <laughs> what street rules? Do you have? longer reach than me no like i'm literally sitting higher up than you right now so i can't tell no your arms are longer tyler okay but i can jump i can fuck you up i can jump really high yeah tyler is taller too i'm taller and i can jump high i can probably dunk it i'm probably gonna dunk on you and you're not gonna be able to do anything about it no i'll probably fucking foul you (laughs) (laughs) if you foul me four times then you're out of the game and then i and then i have no one to fight so (laughs) therefore i win or you'll just sit there and watch me just like shoot hoops until until the time's up (laughs) okay we gotta make this happen no but i want to play nba jam for real though it's right there what about actual basketball though maybe but video games are more fun (laughs) Okay, yeah, we'll we'll play some NBA yeah. Jam is uh for anyone out there. I played with They know NBA Jam. NBA Jam is fucking sweet, bro. All right. Well, let's wrap this up so we can play some. Okay. Okay, bye. Um Shane sucks at basketball. No. Shane is on the basketball team as in he's in the band. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. I just pulled your card right there, boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> something. Say anything else. Um, Tyler was saying. Oh.